Well, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to Today on Display. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus, and tonight's show, well, it's going to be finger licking good, even though I'm pretty sure finger licking is canceled. You know, not really super hygienic in the age of COVID, or I mean, ever, really. Look, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it, okay? Just make sure you do it with someone you trust and that you, I don't know, use a napkin. But regardless, tonight's episode is shaping up to be a tasty one. And one of those reasons, it's National Fried Chicken Day. Yes. So we're going to kick things off with our app du jour, AKA our display tip of the day. Then it's time to chat with fellow trivia host, actress and comedian, Anna Roisman. After that, it's your turn to shine in our creator spotlight with your best finger licking fried chicken photos. Ooh, it rhymes. Yep, you better believe we're showing off that crispy goodness. And finally, we'll go head to head in some trivia where you could win up to $10,000. It's all happening here in the app. So let's talk about the app, baby. Let's talk about Display TV. Yes, two rhymes in that intro. I am so proud of myself. Do you know about Display TV? You must if you're watching it right now, or maybe you just stumbled in here by accident. So Display TV, which is what you're watching, is an online television channel within the Display app where you can view a variety of shows, including daily live streams, interviews, and performances. During Display Fest, we saw rising artists and cultural icons like Snoop Dogg take the stage. I mean, the programming here on Display TV spans a ton of topics including pop culture, sports, music, fashion, health, and business, trivia. But most importantly, Display TV exists to help teach and empower display users. On Display TV, you can hear announcements, updates, and information to help you navigate and make the most of your experience on display. Through interviews, like the one we have coming up with Anna Roisman, and creator spotlights, like your fried chicken photos that we're gonna show later tonight, Display TV highlights user content and the display community. Now, let's say that you clicked in here tonight by accident and you want to come back. I mean, why wouldn't you? So it's really simple. This is what you're going to do. You see that in the top left hand corner, that TV icon right now, it says display fest, but one day it might just say display TV. That's what you want to click, right? Now, if you're live, if we're live, I should say, not you, if we're live, you'll see the chat feature like you see right now watching this, right? You can comment in real time with any other display creators. Otherwise, if we're not live, you can hang out and enjoy the replays and catch up on content that you might have missed. But we're live now, baby. So let's check the chat. Let's see who's hanging out with us tonight. Don't be shy. Introduce yourselves. Throw some emojis up in here. Get crazy, whatever you want. Hello, 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 welcome BRS, just tuned in, welcome. We've got OMPK coming in hot from Canada. James is asking everyone how they're doing. That's so nice, James, I'm doing great, thanks, because you know what, we got a stacked show for you tonight. Dav31 is here, we got China Thug in the house, I know he's an Anna fan. Uncle Ron is tuning in from Lafayette, Indiana. Woo, it is a party up in here, Moon Pastel. Ooh, yes, Chrissy Vision. D yeah, Dab31, she said trivia. Exactly, trivia's coming up. Speaking of trivia, like I said, we got a quiz queen here tonight, a fellow quiz queen. My old HQ trivia host is gonna be here next, so stick around. We'll be right back with the lovely Anna Roisman. Welcome to Display Tips. The best way to get the most out of display is to explore and discover. Let's take a quick glance at your display home screen. Swipe up and scroll through the news feed to see inspiring content from other creators. When you see something you like, tap like, comment, share, support, or all of them. Ready to create your own content? Tap the create icon for photo, video, GIFs, filters, live streaming, and more. Then start sharing. Watch for more tips on Display TV. From Long Beach, girl. With so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being still single double G. But I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass shit like every single day. May I kick a little something for the G's and make a few ends as I breeze through two in the morning and the morning. 
I ain't joking, do it sound like I'm kidding. I've been making like 2,000 a minute. So high up through the clouds, I was swimming. I'm probably gonna drown when I'm in it. I bet she gonna get loud when I'm in it. And we might have a child. I don't love a hoe after we fuck, she can't get near me. Only bitch I give a conversation to is. Welcome back to Today on Display. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus. Now, our guest today is comedian, actress, and host, Anna Roisman. Please say hello. What's up, Anna? Welcome. Anna, I sadly cannot hear you, so you might need to hit unmute. Thank you. Thank you. you. Can you hear me? So welcome. Yes. I said hi. I'm so happy to be here with you. Um, thanks for having me. All of awesome. the things. All of the things that we say at the top of a segment. I love it. You're a professional, and I'm so glad to be reunited with you again. Woohoo! I know. I know. This is great. We're far, but we're close. You know. I feel like that's how it always feels. <laughs> I know. So I'm really excited to chat with you, sort of in this setting. You know, not sort of in a quiz setting, and. You know, these days, it's all about getting to know a person through their social media presence. So let's mm. see if we can learn who you are through your platform in a game we call Post It Up. Love so it. I've dug up some of your posts, and I want you to Amazing. give me a little bit of the story behind the post. Tell me what sort of facet of your personality this post in particular tells, or okay. the story behind the post. So. Let's take a look okay. at the first post that I've got for you. Oh, looking incredible. What is this? What is this for? Thank you. That is for my comedy show on July 22nd. I'm so glad we used this one. I do this show called Fashion Police. As you know, I live for fashion. I love, you know, my clothing and everything. And so my friend Maya and I have a show. Um, we used to do it in the city and now we're, we're doing it in Brooklyn at Union Hall. So uh, it's our first one since the pandemic. And it's like, I haven't like produced a show since before the before times, so I'm like so excited to be able to do this. What's the concept aside from fashion and comedy? What is sort of the premise for the show? That's pretty much it. Um, it's kind of a play off of Fashion Police. Obviously, by the name, it's called Fashion Police. Like, please, we need it. Um, and, you know, comedy is not really known for its fashion. So we wanted to create a space where you can dress to the nines. You can look as fabulous as you want, but you can also do funny stuff. So we have a stand up on and then we usually, uh, if we can, some shows, we interview someone in the fashion world. And then we do this panel for half of the show where we have comedians on the panel and we discuss, you know, I'd say uh, very far from red carpet looks, you know what I mean? <laughs> like uh, trends or we roast our old photos of us and like shit we used to wear when we were younger. So yeah. That sounds like so much fun. So if anyone's in New York, you gotta check out our show. It's coming up. And I mean, we just really sort of put on Display Fest, which was a lot of performers' first performances since yeah. the pandemic. So I imagine that's gonna be really exciting again for you to be doing this show for the first time since all of this has happened. I know you've kind of been weaving your way back into the comedy world and feeling that energy and stuff. But yeah, totally. this is yours producing it. That's awesome. I know. I'm very excited for it. So p I hope people come. I know my mom's coming. So, you know, at least I, I have my best audience member. Exactly. Speaking <laughs> of fashion, though, you mentioned to me backstage, I'm wearing one of your looks. <laughs> I know I've used that because I did. If it's rent the runway, then honey, I rented it. And maybe it's like sisterhood of the traveling you know, jumpsuit, right? I, I, I wore it, now you wear it, we're connected through the sewing of the, dre of the dress or the jumpsuit. Isn't it a jumpsuit? I think it's a jumpsuit. This is a dress, but maybe they have a oh. jumpsuit version too. But listen, we are, Looks we are great. connected. You look great. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let's take a look at the next post that we've got for you. Okay. okay. Soup queen. Tell me about this side of your personality because I know it's spicy. Yeah, it's a huge part of my personality. So a lot of people think I just started making soups in the pandemic. But if you know me for real, I started long before the pandemic. Um, when I lost a day job that I had about six years ago, um, you know, it was a very uh, it was a very cushy day job. And I don't like leftovers. The only food I will eat leftover is soup. 
So I decided to teach myself how to make soups. I didn't cook anything else in my apartment. It was just soups. Uh, and chili counts as a soup in my books because I would make chilies. And so then in the pandemic, uh, I started to film them. And I, because I, you know, I wanted to make content. I love being silly on camera. And I was like, what if I just wear a funny outfit and I make a soup and every soup goes to a different like music theme and I got really into it. I made 10 videos. Um, this soup in this post that you actually saw unfortunately was not filmed. Sometimes I do it for my own pure, you know, like therapy. <laughs> what is that like? Doing something and not filming it? Crazy. Yep. Absolute I know. insanity. So, so what's funny is Go I was going to say people then will ask me, they'll be like, what's, what are the ingredients? Cause I usually give the recipe and the ingredients and everything, you know, and they're like, what is it? And I'm like, I just improvised it. I guess I could write it down, but I haven't yet. <laughs> did you, are you a self-taught soup queen or did you, yes. Wow. Did you watch any videos or do you no. follow recipes or you kind of just like literally just mix and match little things that you think would taste good? No, sometimes I'll copy recipes. Like I, you know, I follow a lot of food accounts. I worked in fine dining for seven years. So I, I feel like I, I get inspired by, you know, recipes. I don't usually follow them like, you know, measurement for measurement. Um, but if I see a, a soup that I'm like, ooh, that sounds so good. Like I'll do my take on it. I'll maybe sub stuff or add stuff or, you know. I think that's the secret behind all of this. You're bringing your, yeah. your personality, the things that you're passionate about to everything that you do, whether it's the fashion show slash comedy show, whether it's a soup performance with costumes and music and a soup performance. It's, it's perfect. Let's take a look at the next one. Let's see how you're using your personality here. What is happening? Who are you? What is this for? Okay, so I am actually Jason Schwartzman, and surprise, uh, that's who I am in real life. Um, that's what <laughs> I'm saying I look like. No, so this is for, this I shouldn't even, this is a BTS, so whoever's in here, you're getting the exclusive right now. This is a behind the scenes shot of a sketch I just filmed last week um, for a show that I have worked on a little bit. And uh, I'm very excited for you to see this. I can't say much more, but I, I worked on this show called Celebrity Sleepover. It's on NBC. It's the show that airs after Saturday Night Live. So thank you, SNL, for being the lead in. And um, and yeah, I got to shoot a sketch with them. Like it was, it aired in April. And so this one's gonna happen in the fall. So stay tuned. But I just thought I looked so funny. I took so many photos in this outfit and like sent them to my boyfriend and was like, would you would you still love me <laughs> that's incredible congratulations i remember the other one that you shot earlier that again already sort of aired so i didn't know this was a recurring thing that's incredible thanks yeah i mean we'll see i don't know you know it's kind of one by one i don't have a i don't have a full-time gig yet yet we're gonna manifest it speak it into existence right now but whatever thank you, you just unveiled some information exclusively on display and for that we are grateful thank you yeah you got the exclusive this is basically it you know? i feel very honored okay what else do we got we got i know we got more oh bobby my Play. heart my heart and soul this is bobby Flay, the toy poodle if you don't know him if you don't follow him at bobby Flay the dog he is my 11 year old toy poodle. I got him, you know, at a time in my life when no one thought I could keep a dog alive. And I told all of them, screw you, I will show you. Uh, Cause I was very young and bartending till 4 a.m. Um, but he's healthy, he's happy. And he's holding his blue lamb chops. Look at how cute he is. You know, that's <laughs> so weird that Bobby Flay has lamb chop because my mom who was just visiting, she has a golden named Avery and he has a lamb chop toy. In fact, he's on his third lamb chop toy because he <laughs> ripped the other two apart. So I was gonna say, I have another, but this is Bobby's third lamb chop as well no, in 11 years. They're, oh, yeah. Okay, we're a sisterhood of the traveling jumpsuit. <laughs> they are, you know, brothers of the traveling lamb chop. I don't know. There's I love there's it. There's something yeah. there, there's something there. Okay. It's a good dog toy. Everyone should have it. I, you know, Apparently, I they love it so much. They tear it apart like we do all the things that we love, I guess. Um, we got one more. This is a video, so let's take a look at that. I moved across the street to Brugger's Bagels. I don't even know oh, I love this. legally, like, how do I share this? There's two other people who work there from my high school, and I had a crush on one of them. These two guys were just like, they're fucking like bros, you know? One of them, the one I had a crush on, 
thought it was funny. He put his hand down his pants, tore out a handful of pubes, and threw ah. them in cream cheese, <gasps> and then served someone a bagel. No. Yeah, and he would think my crush would have ended, oh but I was like, Oh my god, um, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> She's turned on. And I just like, what the heck? I mean, you know, I was on this podcast, so yes, tell us the premise I was gonna of the say, podcast. while I'm watching yeah. this, I'm like, I should have used Sarah's clip. Oh but... my god, no, it's fine. That That is it's crazy. So tell us about the premise behind this podcast. <gasps> okay, so I did a live show from my apartment for 50 episodes after I lost that day job I was talking about called The Unemployed Show. It was basically my own talk show. I wore pajamas, I sat on the couch, I had guests, we did it live every week at 3 p.m. on Thursdays. And I had all these friends on who didn't have jobs that day, mostly creative people. And, uh, and then I started the pod after, it's funny, after 50 episodes, I got hired at HQ. So I wasn't able to produce this show every week. And so then I decided to do it as a podcast. Uh, we've now done 72 episodes. Sarah is on an episode. It's an amazing episode. Yes. And uh, this was a very recent episode with my friend Julia Rossi. And she is a very, very funny stand-up comedian, if you don't know her. And I just thought this story was so insane because she still had a crush on this guy after he, he like, thought that was cool to do in front of her. And <laughs> I talked to people about all their old jobs. Not everybody's unemployed. I'm not even that unemployed. But, you know, it's, it's a really fun podcast if you want to hear about people's, like, journey to where they you know, ended up today. It's great. We've all had different kinds of jobs as we've grown up, right? And, and yeah. done a lot of things along the way. But I will say, I worked in service <laughs> and food, and I, you know, I always thought that was sort of like a myth that people would say, like spit in the drink. Mm -hmm. I never saw it. I never did it. But that, when I watched that podcast clip, I was aghast. I'm like, okay, I guess um, it does exist. Yeah, I had an ex-boyfriend who spit in someone's bagel once when he worked at a, a bagel place in college. Bagels. And it's all about the bagel places, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> don't you toast Make your, your own. bagels. Toast your bagels at home. Um, Y'all, don't go anywhere. We've got a very special game that we're debuting with Anna after yep. this. And then we are playing trivia for up to 10K. Invite your friends. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Tiki Barber, former University of Virginia student athlete and also former New York Giant running back. I can't tell you how excited I am to announce the partnership between Influencer and Display. So what's Display? Display is social that pays. This revolutionary social media app is changing the game for college athletes and now it's your turn to play. Welcome to the brand new world on social media. Welcome to Display. Social that pays. You're my queen, all that I need, got a diamond, radio hitting rainbows, ultra light beams, sport plays more like tennis, don't need a team, it's just me and you and it's everything that is seen. Yeah. Welcome back, y'all. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus, and I'm here with comedian Anna Roisman, who I'm sure you recognize from HQ Trivia, but she does so much more than that, which we just discovered and posted up. Anna, can you tell us about <laughs> anything else you're working on right now? Talk House, BuzzFeed, Airtime, drop anything that you want to pitch. Okay, thanks for reading out my bio. Yes, um, I do this. I, I Right now, I've been hosting a lot for Airtime. It's a really cool platform where you get to share media with your friends while you're live in rooms. And uh, I host a show on Tuesdays called No, You're Pretty. Uh, which is a makeup tutorial show where I have friends on who are not makeup artists and we follow makeup uh, YouTube videos and we look 
either amazing or insane. It's a journey no matter what. Uh, and then I host on Thursdays, I do comedy night. And then Fridays, I'm doing this show called Airtime's Got Talent. Sarah, you should totally be on. Everybody can come on. It's, it's a really fun uh, talent competition. And it's 30 second auditions to one minute auditions in the round two. And then you can win up to $250. Everybody gets paid to audition, which is very cool. I know you guys totally support paying anybody who is creative. So it's really fun. Yeah, we give you get 10 bucks just to sing for 30 seconds. Like it's so much fun. I love them. I love working for them. So that's kind of what I've been doing a lot lately. And uh, I'm working on my own stuff. I love it. So being that you're super funny and always on top of what's trending, we thought it'd be fun to play a new game with you called Some Like It Hot Takes. So we are going to give you a topic and you're going to go off on it. No filter, however you want. Are you ready? I'm ready. I forget what they are. I know you were going to tell me. Okay, I'm ready. I'm it's so okay. Excited. It's okay. The first one is, you know, the 4th of July just passed. I saw you tweeted something about burgers versus hot dogs. So give me your hot take on this. Okay. Hot take. Hamburgers win. I'm sorry. Even a hamburger, cheeseburgers, much better than hot dogs. My boyfriend will break up with me over this. He is a hot dog stand through and through. I just think we don't always know what is uh, in a hot dog. Even the vegan ones are a little questionable. You know what I mean? Like it's just kind of wrapped up. A burger, you see the meat, you bite into it, you know exactly what you're getting. Also, I think there's more of a variety with burgers. I think we have, you know, the ability to make a burger so good or so disgusting and the worst burger i feel like is still better than a good hot dog uh you're gonna leave with that shitty burger and be like wow that was that was bad but it was like good bad a hot dog you're gonna be like i'm still hungry i need something else i'm gonna side with you on this but i definitely my boyfriend's mom would throw us under the bus (laughs) for saying this because she's obsessed with hot dogs you could literally take her to a hot dog dinner over a gourmet steak dinner any night of the yes. week, and she would be the happiest person. Okay. They, she should meet Jared. Honestly, they paid it off. He, every time we leave the supermarket, he's like, we haven't had hot dogs recently. We should get some. I'm like, for what? It's February. Why do we need hot dogs? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a no. The, the only thing is you, you know, for a quick lunch, it is pretty fast. It's super easy. You know, if you just want to plop something into boiling water, but it's also kind of scary. It's also kind of, I don't yeah. like to think about it. I don't, I want to eat something. Stay on my side. We're eating about. burgers together. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> done. So the second thing is you went viral a few months ago for your video on the Hilaria, the Hilaria Baldwin debacle. Um, we actually had the host of the famous like cucumber segment here on the show yesterday. She's a host for us here. Her name's Evie Siskos. So oh my God. let's get your take on this. Feel free to give us a preview of your Hilaria impression while you're at it, whatever you want to do. Sure. Um, first of all, I believe it's pronounced Ilaria. You said Ilaria. No, no, no. Ilaria. And she's from Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I was obsessed with this story. Here's the thing. I was obsessed with her before it happened. I just thought like, wow, this yoga instructor married Alec Baldwin, and then she had 27 children, which is an accomplishment on its own. Um, And then when this whole story broke out, I gotta say, I thought she would like, you know, say more about it. I feel like if you are put in the media for something you did wrong, you try to at least make it right. She did not apologize at all. She is still walking around with all of her children with these Hispanic names. Uh, You know, she is still going to go to Spain. She is still going to pretend to be Spanish. And that is just who she believes she is. And, you know, you got to commend someone who commits to the bit that hard. Uh, (laughs) I, I, she is the gift that keeps on giving. I've made a couple videos as her. Um, and I love it. I follow her probably too closely. I I should probably mute her at this point. (laughs) Can you give us the impression one more time, a little bit of your Bostonian thing? Sure, my name is Ilaria, and uh, I actually am from Boston, Massachusetts, and I drink diet Coca-Cola, how do you say Coca-Cola? But I'm like very, you know, much also into, um, uh, como se dice, uh, Sprite, Sprite, Sprite. There we go. Uh, She just is all over the map, you know? She's, her name is Hillary Thomas from, Massachusetts. Just, that's it. That's that's all you gotta know before you look at her content. Let's, cucumber. Cucumber. Um, How do you say? Oh gosh. So let's stick in the celebrity world. Okay. Let's talk celebrity couples. Benefer, right? I think we've all got an opinion on it. Give me yours. 
Finally, you know, we have had a shitty 2020, a rough 2021. We got Benefer back. I feel like I didn't, my parents are not divorced, but I feel like my parents were divorced and now they're back together. Like I feel this nostalgia, this sense of security, like they're so hot, you know? I mean, I gotta say she was, she was hot with A-Rod, but like, this is a different, you know, I didn't grow up like loving A-Rod. I grew up loving Ben Affleck. So it's kind of like, uh, it feels good, doesn't it? It feels like, wow, something good happened for us. I know, we are living in the age of the re reboot, you know what I mean? So it makes cultural sense to me at this time that this totally. would happen. Anna, thank you so much for joining us, y'all. You can follow her at Anna Roisman. It's been thank so you. good to reconnect and we'll be right back to spin the wheel for trivia. Will it be 10K? Let's find out. Welcome to Display Tips. The bottom menu bar unlocks more Many rich features. Tap the home icon to refresh and bring you back to your newsfeed. To search for friends, tags, and discover new content, tap the search icon. Reaching out or receiving messages from friends and followers is easy and right here. Your profile gives you access to all things about you. Tap the create icon to go to the media screen and create original content and even live stream. Watch for more tips on Display TV. You come on this side, this side. You won't never get the square size. Every nigga around me, they on boss, ain't got a dick ride. Them niggas talking down, I blew their budget down to ten times. Remember everybody jumped the ship, they thought it capsized. Now anybody making U turns, gonna get baptized. Don't listen to these bitches on me. I've been cool and laying low, but I'm not taking the seat. But just know a nigga back in this time, I won't leave. I've been running, 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 gotta check me your back. I got hundreds on my neck and I got shoes on my ass. Nigga, set on Welcome back to Today on Display. You know what time it is, because I'm standing with my wheel. That means it's ta -ta 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 trivia time. Well, not quite. It's time to find out what our jackpot tonight will be. So if you haven't been with us before, this is how it works. I'm going to spin this wheel. As you can see, there's $1,000 slots, $2,500 slots, $5,000 slots, and of course, the question mark slots. That was my best impression of an auctioneer, by the way. So if we land on the question mark slot, you will vote to determine the value of the question mark from these fabulous envelopes. Yes. And they contain up to $10,000. So shall we do it? We shall. Let's spin the wheel. That's my luck dance. Just spin the wheel. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get something. Here we go. Oh, so close, but we're playing for $1,000. Yes, we are. All right, so this is how it's gonna work. You're gonna stay right where you are. You're gonna keep the app open in just a moment. We're gonna celebrate National Fried Chicken Day with some of your content. Then it's gonna be quiz time. Those questions are gonna pop up on your screen. There's gonna be <laughs> your screen, and I hope you don't scream. <laughs> There's gonna be 10 of them. You're gonna have 10 seconds to answer each question. If you get them all right, you win a piece of that $1,000 prize. It's that simple, but the questions are not. All right, folks, we'll be right back with National Fried Chicken Day. Welcome to Display Tips. Let's check out more of what Profile has to offer. Tap the profile on bottom right of screen. Here you can review your friends, followers, and who you are following. When ready to set up your personal storefront, tap My Stuff. It's easy and only takes a couple of minutes. Next is your bank. Tap the bank icon to see how much money you have earned and how to redeem your cash. Watch for more tips on Display TV. 
Display is the social platform that puts the content creators first. Everyone is a content creator. Here's how social media works today. Advertisers pay social media giants to advertise on your content. The social giants then keep all of that money for themselves. You, the creator, never see a dime. At Display, we put the content creators first. When advertisers pay Display, you can earn a 50% award rate on the ad revenue generated from your content. We also provide a marketplace for creators to sell products and share in the profits. Creators can receive award payouts based on the affiliate commission. The rewards you earn from ad revenue and affiliate commissions will be added to your Display account every day. Display provides you a 50% award rate from the ad revenue generated from your content while social giants share nothing. We believe creators should be rewarded for their work. Download Display from your app store today. Welcome back to Today on Display. I'm your host, Sarah Priebus. Speaking of today, it's National Fried Chicken Day. Did you celebrate with any crispy, delicious morsels? If not, have I got you covered, folks. We have got some of the best looking legs in the house. And I don't mean mine. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of your best fried chicken photos and get those mouths watering. Oh, gosh. All right, so I got to know. I got to ask all of you, like, what is your favorite fast food fried chicken? What are your favorite dipping sauces? This one looks like it's got gravy on it or of some kind. I don't know. Are there any secret ingredients that you have to making your own? Are you a wings person or a legs person? I mean, the thing that I liked in finding all of these photos was that they were from all around the world. So no matter where you're from, it looks like in the Philippines, they've got their version. We've got Vietnamese fried chicken. We've got our fried chicken. There's Fried chicken is popular all around the world, which is incredible. I mean, how could it not be? It's so, so, so delicious. Okay, Big Schmitty said, every answer is right, but Honey Hot is the rightest. That's fair. Jay Shui said, chicken express strips. Yeah, I'll shout out veganism too. Do you have a favorite vegan fried chicken chicken place. You know what? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe you got to start your own business or share their recipe here on display. I would be so down to try that. Whatever you want to do, as long as it's fried, I am in for it. Now, if you become hungry because of this segment, because of all the fabulous chicken photos that you've been seeing, there's still some hours left in the day. So go grab yourselves a snack, but you might want to wait a few more minutes because we've got trivia coming up and that could literally pay for your fried chicken or again, fried whatever the heck you want. Again, tag Display TV and Today on Display if you wanna be featured in these creator spotlights. That's how I find all the photos. And be sure, of course, that you're posting that awesome original content and following the trending hashtags. Y'all, we will be right back with trivia for $1,000. Don't miss it. Welcome to Display Tips. Let's check out some of the key features of your home screen. On the top left is the Display TV icon. Tap it and see what Sarah Priebus and the Display TV entertainment team have created for you. It's always on 24-7. Tap the bell icon on the top right to check notifications sent to you, including friend requests, who is following, community invitations, and more. Watch for more tips on Display TV. Welcome back to Today on Display. I am your quiz queen, Sarah Priebus, and yeah, it's time. 
Welcome to Display Trivia, the place where your wildest dreams can come true. Except that one where you had to perform a play that you had never rehearsed in your underwear in front of your whole town. Oh gosh, that's the worst. Let's leave that one in your subconscious for now. We're talking about the good dreams here, the good ones, right? Tonight's pot is $1,000. We spun the wheel a little bit ago. And if you missed that, you got to tune in next time. It's very, very exciting. We're so close to hitting 5,000, so close to hitting the question mark. One of these days, it's just increasing the odds. You know what I mean? All right, here are the rules. You're going to have 10 seconds to pick your answer. And choose wisely, because once you tap, there's no going back. If you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but stay in the game because you can keep playing along for fun. Let's Let's talk to the chat for a moment. Who's here? Who's excited? Do we have any trivia first timers in the house? What's up? Hi, Tech Keon. Welcome back. Ronnie Wildheart says, I hope I win. I hope you do too. I am always rooting for my display bees in this game. And we're waiting for a couple more people to trickle in. Yes, because we want to give everyone an opportunity to play trivia. So let's go back. Did you see our National Fried Chicken highlight? Yeah, it's National Fried Chicken Day. If so, let me know. Again, what kind of sauce are you here for? Do you like the blue cheese? Do you like the ranch? I saw some people shouting out those cauliflower wings. Cauliflower? Cauliflower? How do you say? Cauliflower. <laughs> I love those, they're delicious. I'm definitely sort of a sweet chili or a little bit of a mild spicy type of gal. And speaking of food, it's almost time to get to our poll question. So make sure that your phones are in the vertical position, right? I know, I'm watching myself, that's crazy. Okay, so make sure your phones are in the vertical position. Make sure you're connected to that sweet, sweet Wi-Fi. We want you to have the best opportunity to win at this $1,000 that we're playing for here. And yeah, let's get those fingers warmed up. We've been talking about food, so let's keep it going. Tell me, do you typically eat breakfast each day? Yes, no, or it depends. Let me just ask, what does it depend on? Not enjoying the most important, and I'll say it, best tasting meal of the day? On National Fried Chicken Day, I would be remiss if I didn't also mention that any breakfast food is improved with the addition of some of that crispy bird. Chicken and waffles, chicken and biscuits. I rest my case. Delicious, delicious. All right, what are we choosing here? Yes, we do typically eat breakfast every day. Of course you do, because, you know, that's the only way to, to win trivia. You got to have a full breakfast. You got to start the day with that breakfast. So. I think you're all ready. I think you're ready because you ate breakfast today, so let's do this. Here we go, time to trivia. Question one. In modern construction, windows are typically made of what material? Plywood, styrofoam, glass. In modern construction, windows are typically made of what material? Plywood, styrofoam, glass. My family used to tell me I make a better door than a window. You know, because when I open up, I lead to new adventures. Coincidentally, I also did watch TV standing in front of it, usually. So yeah, I'm realizing now that was a disparaging remark and um, also probably why I have poor eyesight. Yeah, I wear contacts. Okay, 94% of you could see the light in that one. We're moving on to question two. How many babies are born in a set of triplets? One, two, three. How many babies are born in a set of triplets? One, two, three. Display bees. Yes, much like fine china, babies have been known to come in sets. The only difference is you can't exchange a baby for store credit at Crate and Barrel. Don't knock until you try it. But how many babies in a triplet? Hmm, well, same number as the question that 97% of you are heading towards right now, because Question three is a magic number, baby. Let's do it. Here we go. Q3. Select the animal incorrectly paired to its American English onomatopoeia. Cat meow, dog oink, cow moo. Select the animal incorrectly paired to its American English onomatopoeia. Cat meow, dog oink, cow moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. 
to table dinner party and it was just lovely. I mean, lights in the trees, mason jar centerpieces, small batch brews, uh, the works. Looking back on it, I'm pretty sure I got mixed up with that cult from midsummer, but still, great time all in all. With a win-win here and a win-win wit here. 93% <laughs> of you are coming through with a win on this question. No rough times here. I can't help myself. Question four. Which of these J.R.R. Tolkien characters is a hobbit? Aragorn, Gimli, Samwise, Gamgee. Which of these J.R.R. Tolkien characters is a hobbit? Aragorn, Gimli, Samwise, Gamgee. This movie franchise was filmed in New Zealand, and I'm left here wondering, what about old Zealand? I mean, Hollywood is so vain that we just replace it with a younger, hotter Zealand? Gosh, I mean, there really are no parts for women over 40. But let's get back to question four, shall we? Because 83% of you are embarking on an epic journey into your next question of the night by answering Samwise Gamgee. So let's do Q5. Which of the following human body parts is not a ball and socket joint? Hip, knee, shoulder. Which of the following human body parts is not a ball and socket joint? Hip, knee, shoulder. Head, shoulders, hips and knees, hips and knees. Head, shoulders, hips and knees, hips and knees. Do you remember that song to help kids learn their body parts? Head, shoulders, hips and knees, a classic, a real knee slapper, yeah. Although, you know, be careful with that knee because you know what? Yes, the joint in a knee is like the dating app. It's a hinge, it's a hinge, and 77% of you did get that. So let's ball and sock it to the next question, shall we? Venus de Milo, the Terracotta Army, and Fountain are all titles of art in what medium? Watercolors, installation, sculpture. Venus de Milo, the Terracotta Army, and Fountain are all titles of art in what medium? Watercolors, installation, or sculpture? My favorite museum? the peanut gallery. I mean, where would we be without PBJ's Thai food and those um, tiny little airplane snack baggies? But these works of art, though no less important, are pretty famous, featuring a lady with no arms, a bunch of soldiers in a cave, and a uh, toilet. Yeah, and they're all very lifelike because they are statues. They're statues. 93% of you are shaping up into trivia masterpieces, I think it's time for Q7. All of the following cartoon characters wear a pair of blue overalls except Bob the Minion, Stewie Griffin, Mario. All of the following cartoon characters wear a pair of blue overalls except Bob the Minion, Stewie Griffin, Mario. Overall, I would say this is a pretty hard question. Overall, <laughs> get it? Okay, but seriously, these characters all wear overalls. In my mind, all characters are pulling a poo bear, you know, no bottoms, just a t-shirt. But overalls are cool because they're, they're both, right? Only problem is when you gotta go to the bathroom. Good thing Mario is a plumber and he's wearing blue overalls along with Bob the Minion. Stewie's overalls are red. And I think 87% of you just read my mind because we're heading into Q8 together. Which of the following cities has not hosted the Summer Olympics more than once? London, Los Angeles, Beijing. Which of the following cities has not hosted the Summer Olympics more than once? London, Los Angeles, Beijing. Some things that I wish were Olympic sports? Mm, that would have to be forgetting to floss, leaving people on red, and oh, asking my boyfriend if he's going to finish that. What, they always give you too many fries. Can you tell I'm ready for Tokyo 2021, baby? Beijing has only hosted the Summer Olympics one time in 2008, and although they are slated to host again in 2022, it'll be the Winter Games. 87% of you with gold medals, you're meddling, you're going into Q9. Select the movie that does not feature a notable Los Angeles landmark that opened to the public with free admission in 1935. Rebel Without a Cause, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, La La Land. 
Select the movie that does not feature a notable Los Angeles landmark that opened to the public with free admission in 1935. Rebel without a clause. <laughs> Cause. Once upon a time in Hollywood, La La Land. Just kidding, we made a mistake. That last option is Moonlight. No, I kid, I kid. But for real, Moonlight, you can take in a whole lot of that at this place that we're referring to. Stars and planets too. The whole nine yards, or however many billion light years wide the universe is. Because it's the Griffith Observatory, the most visited planetarium in the country. And the only film here that doesn't feature this point of interest, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. 66% of you are walking the red carpet into the final question of the night. Here it is. This type of fur most closely associated with European nobility comes from an animal that goes by all of the following names except short-tailed weasel, stoat, arctic, arctic hare. This type of fur most closely associated with European nobility comes from an animal that goes by all of the following names except short-tailed weasel, stoat, arctic hare. Fur real. Although I don't condone animal cruelty, this fur is fancy AF and so iconic. Pretty much every major portrait of a European monarch from the Middle Ages onward is wearing it. Sorry if all of this feels like fluff. I just want to soften the blow if you don't get this right. And you might not, because whoopee, it's a hard one. But who will be crowned a winner today? Who is going to be the winner today? Ermine, the white fur with black tufts used to line the cloaks of queens and emperors, comes from the winter coat of the stoat or short-tailed weasel. You managed to weasel your way into victory. Woohoo! And kudos. Yes, you came, you played, you slayed, you got paid for the knowledge that you displayed. Any winners out there? I mean, you're all winners in a way. We had an incredible show. And if you got a winner's screen, don't worry. If you got that last question right, you will receive your winnings. If you didn't get the winner's screen, but you did get the last question right, you will receive your winnings. We pay here on display. It's a social that pays. But again, if you didn't win, right? Winner's screen, no winner's screen. We had an amazing show tonight, so you're really all winners. A big thanks to Anna Roisman for coming on Tomorrow, we've got Nathan Lanky Phillips joining us all the way from Australia. He's a freestyle BMX pro who's got some mind-blowing visuals on his display page that are going to either give you a heart attack or knock your socks off. One more time for anyone that's scared that they didn't get the winner's screen, that they did get the winner's screen. If you got that last question right, our system registers it, you will receive your earnings. So don't worry. Don't don't panic. I see you, display bees. Don't cry. It's okay. If you got it right, we see you. We got you. We're still a new app. We launched next month. We want to make sure all of our creators get paid. Don't worry. We're still working out the kinks. But if you won fair and square, we're going to make sure you get paid fair and square. And of course, we've got more learning and earning coming your way tomorrow. Fresh display tips, fresh content by, by all of you. And of course, a fresh stack of cash for trivia. Yes, hello, 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 everybody here in the chat. Still, still talking to me about chicken wings, which I love. Let's definitely go buy some chicken wings with those earnings. Y'all, thank you so much for chilling with me tonight. This has been so much fun. I hope you have a great rest of your night. I'm Sarah Priebus, and I'll see you tomorrow on Display. Display is the social platform that puts the content creators first. Everyone is a content creator. Here's how social media works today. Advertisers pay social media giants to advertise on your content. The social giants then keep all of that money for themselves. You, the creator, never see a dime. At Display, we put the content creators first. When advertisers pay Display, you can earn a 50% award rate on the ad revenue generated from your content. We also provide a marketplace for creators to sell products and share in the profits. Creators can receive award payouts based on the affiliate commission. The rewards you earn from ad revenue and affiliate commissions will be added to your display account every day.
Display provides you a 50% award rate from the ad revenue generated from your content while social giants share nothing. We believe creators should be rewarded for their work. Download Display from your app store today. I don't really enjoy nothing but making music and working like better than myself. Like if I was not do it, I don't really know what I'd be doing. If I don't already have an idea in my head, I go through beats. Something about the beat gotta be special that stick out from and once I get that feeling in there, then I, I put words to it. Social media, use like really connect with fans, market. I I use it for a laugh. Watch me perform live in Miami on display. Display, it's your host Delro. I'm coming to you live from Temple House in Miami. And right now, right now, we have a live performance from Fredo Bang. Make some noise. like the bang man. Ooh, I'm knowing this what you want me to do. Kill the pussy bang. I might make the news. I, I got him. inside the head and stick it like some glue. What he say? So baby, ooh, ooh. What's up? Hey, I'm knowing this what you want me to do. Kill the pussy bang. I might make the news. I, I got, got inside him. the head and stick it like some glue. What he say? So baby, ooh, ooh. What's up? Ooh. Once What's I get inside of you, know I'm the truth. Start at one. We don't end up about two. And if I finish early, then it's round two. What he say? So baby, ooh, what, what you want to do? I'm a budget jump inside it. I'm a fool. Say I'm a suck it. I'm a lick it. I'm a true. I'm a slave master, get that neck just like a noose. I hit her from the back, now I gotta be like, ooh. Hey, I'm knowing this what you want me to do. Kill the pussy bang, I might make the news. I got inside the head and stick it like some glue. So baby, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm knowing this what you want me to do. Kill the pussy bang, I might make the news. I got inside the head and stick it like some glue. So baby, ooh. Sweet like sweet pie. Put it in my hand like you try to give me five. Hey, baby, would you mind if I show you with my thighs? Okay. We smoke on that cheap like we was up in our drive. I'm gonna clutch you real deep. I'm not talking about a knife. I'm gonna kill a pussy. They gon' fuck around and give me life. I come once, I come twice. Got a high she need eyes. I need white like some rice. Okay. Snack, take a bite. Hey. Ooh. I'm knowing this what you want me to do. Kill the pussy bang. I might make the news. I got him side of head and stick it like some glue. So baby, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm knowing this what you want me to do. Kill the pussy bang. I might make the news. I got him side of head and stick it like some glue. What he say? So baby, ooh, ooh. Is you riding that cause I don't know, know what's, what's up, up with you? A lot of luck, I had to say if I'm gonna fuck with you. You too raw, you know I'm raw, that's why I bust. What he say? Life good, but a nigga still got, got some trust. If I give you the world, I hope that I can split a cut with you. If, if I, I give you the world, world, I hope that I can get in touch. You might polish with your side, that's a slave. I blew up with you. Life good, but a nigga still got some trust. You talking reckless, bitch, don't lose control. I done chose the bag, you can't say I'm choosing the hoes. I done moved away, she said that I'm moving slow. Bitch been acting funny lady, that, that whole need a moving road. road. Yeah, you know I'm popping now, you know I can't trust a soul. I can't take you out there in my city, gotta keep a pole. Yeah, I'll fuck you with a hat, cause you know the world cold. cold. Then I tell you pull it off, cause, cause I wanna I'm feel some moves. He scared. You have my baby, you my hate. Okay. You might put me on the pace. I ain't tripping cause I'm rich. Fuck bitch, we'll deal, deal with it later. See so you fucking with the odds, my niggas calling you a train. They call me lifeguard pain, cause I'm still trying to say. Is you riding or not? Cause I don't know what's, what's up with you. A lot of luck, I had the same. If, if I'm gon' fuck with you, you too wrong, you know I'm wrong, that's why I bust. What he say? Life good, but a nigga still got, got some trust. trust. If I give you the world, I hope that I can split a cut with you. If I give you the world, I hope that I can get in touch with you. Pilots just aside, that's a shame. I grew up with you. Life perfect, but, but a nigga still got, got some trust issues. Hard clothes is fuck from all the pain that I've been through. On the wall, up in the trench, but I got blood up on my shoes. Ain't been sleeping three days, trying to put one on the new. You steady talking sideways, you gotta do what you gon' do. 
I've been about that murder for a while, bitch, you know me. My mama had three boys, so you know it ain't no hoe in me. Convictions on, trying to find a right away. I got niggas doing letters, never see the light of day. That's not the way. You should ride the night, cause I don't know what's up with you. Lot of luck, I'd have had a saint if, if I gon' fuck, fuck with you. You too raw, you know I'm raw, that's why I bust with What'd you. What'd he say? But I still got, got some, some trust issues. <laughs> this play in Miami 2021. TBG. Bring them back in the building. Here we go! My mama stop him. I can't walk by faith. Every day I wake up to some brand new hate. What he say? Yeah, nigga ops. Yeah, nigga wants some. It's on everybody time. All these stones that I was most couldn't take. I got problems with some niggas cause I don't want me fake. Hey, yeah, nigga ops. Yeah, nigga wants some. It's on everybody time. Okay. I beat a case cause I wouldn't talk. You heard that side of the story, but that shit was false. The only ones that want revenge is the ones that lost. I got niggas mad at me cause I wouldn't talk. Solid as they come. You niggas ain't bullshit. How long you had that gun? Why well, I'm getting so much hate? I ain't mad at them. Fuck they feelings, lies up. I throw a bag at them. Damn. Damn. Had to turn my thug up. What'd he say? Had to put my love up. Okay. Cause I don't know who hate no more. They, they say I'm dead. dead. I don't even wanna wait no more. My mama's stubborn. I can't walk by faith. Every day I wake up to some brand new hate. Yeah, nigga, ops. Yeah, nigga, won't sit on everybody's time. All these stars that I was on. Most can take. I got problems with some niggas cause, cause I won't be fake. fake. Yeah, nigga, ops. What? Yeah, nigga, won't sit on everybody's time. Okay. Damn. Had to turn my thug up. What'd he say? Had to put my love up. Cause I don't know who hate no more. They say I'm dead. I don't even wanna wait no more. Most can take. I got problems with some niggas cause, cause I won't be fake. fake. Yeah, nigga, ops. Yeah, nigga, won't. It's on everybody's time. Hey, I'm BB's Elbow Rock Radio. I'm Reach Baby. That's Skate. Name it GP. Talk no money. Don't make no sense to speak. You heard me? I appreciate y'all tuning in. Display. Let's get it. Display fam, I'm back. Fredo Bang just killed his performance, and we got him right here for an exclusive interview. I'm your host, Delro. Fredo Bang, how does it feel to be back on stage after the crazy year that was 2020? Blessing, blessing. Love and blessings. <laughs> it feel good, though, for real. Awesome, awesome, man. So tell me, what's your creative process like? You know, what do you go through to create this dope music? Um, I really like, if I, if I don't have an idea in my head, I listen to the beats. And then once I, uh, once I, pick, I find something special in the beat, I go in the studio and I, I harmonize a cadence or a melody. And then I put words to the melody. That's dope. That's dope. I mean, I feel like a lot of people won't know what your process is like. You know, you guys keep that to yourself as an artist. Yeah, I don't like to record around a lot of people. That's like, real. I be self-conscious about my stuff. <laughs> that's real. That's real. So what's next for you, man? What's next? What's, what's 2021 got in store for you? Um, my album, I just turned my album in. Well, I'm almost done turning it in. So that's coming real soon. And right now I'm working on my end of the year project. I just go into the studio and just let off my emotions from that day, from earlier that day, from this week, and just speak upon everything that's on my mind, you know? Beautiful thing about being an artist is I get paid to see the world. I get paid to travel the world and do shows. What the fuck? That's a dream. You know, I'm living a dream. Social media is a double-edged sword, right? It can change your life in the most positive way. You can't give too much of your life to the social media as well, you know? So it's a fine balance. But it's also necessary in today's day and age. As a performer, uh, I mean, I just try to leave it all on that stage. If I die on the stage, that's a, a, a proper death for me, you know? This is a, I like to call this the dream the color, grown a sexy version. Yeah. Listen, uh, yeah, I dream in color. Huh. 
and I sleep on the canvas. Uh, I think we all need each other. Empathy that could be our advantage. Bad bitch speak Creole and Spanish. Let this way, then I'm liking my chances. Oh man, why I go on these tangents? Birds eye view this shit panoramic. Still fighting off my paranoia. Shit too real, just fire my lawyer. Trust issues, I'm needing to fix it. That could be an empire destroyer. Seen what happened to Julius Caesar. Stevie Wonder told me you were a leader. Girl at four for the tennis match me, my grandma. Truly, uh, I don't know why the best come. Put yourselves, just over I don't listen to the public pain Never trail, just in the sun I don't really know what a nigga been fighting for Fighting for Every song that I record Be seven live, type court If I shoot my shot uh, 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 uh. If I get a lot ha, 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 ha. Hold on, uh Maybe that's the difference from other niggas making bad decisions. Good music that attract the business. My last song was a fucking classic. You can listen to that shit from start to finish. Good intentions in my heart relentless. Drums with the plus the windows tinted. Never know pretending. Let's be transparent. Learn that shit from my grandparents. I've been meditating, trying to gain clearance. Life shit is incoherent as a bitch. Wonder why I'm so damn with the shit. Single mom, no co parents in this bitch. Used to walk to the library for the Wi Fi. It was like both Karen's in that bitch. What's your purpose? What's your motives? What's your dreams? What's your goals? Is? Are your thoughts pure? Are you focused? It's a real nigga diagnosis. Are your friends real or they bogus? Are they by your side at your lowest? Though I'm not so easily broken, but at times, and I don't know. Why the best come to yourself? Stress over night. I don't listen to the public pain. Never trail, just in the sun. I don't really know what a nigga been fighting for, but I'm fighting for it. Every song that I recall be saving lives, I'm talking for it. If I shoot my shot, uh, 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 uh. if I get a lie, uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 Mercy, let's go. Cop a crib, need acres. Uh, Most of all, we all need prayer. Come a come a nigga, beware. beware. I don't know where I'm going, huh, go. but I hope I'm on the right path. Life to hit you with a light jab. Mike Tyson, strike back. Your niggas going out slice sad. Uh, where I'm all about my bag. Uh, New drip, I grab. Uh, I just want to get my life Hold on, back. huh? There's no complaining on this side. My nigga shit is not tolerated. Cause some niggas off like operation. Now my team way more solidated. Sweet presidential, that's inauguration. Cause we cook and crack like Ronald Reagan. Chip on my shoulder, boy, I'm not for waiting. Divine time, I took a lot of hope. Hey, now it's time for the takeover. All gas and the brakes slower. Took a trip out to Tokyo. Now I'm, I'm here in Paris for the layover. Fuck old niggas, boy, your day's over. Yeah. Mad at me cause your pay slow. Yeah. Bitter nigga, you a shade though. Yeah. I was just sleeping yeah. on a sofa. Yeah. Now I'm Ride with a pay show because I'm way dope. We're gonna stay sober. Paint pictures, you a Crayola. Got a bad bitch and she laid over. She really asked because she stay over. Uh, Told her that we need a face closure. Uh, Smell of money has a grade over. These are things that I pray over. Sweet Lord, please have mercy. Pay to Jesus, please save us. I know I used up my three favors. Matt is in it like a week later. New car, speed racer. Uh, Cop a crib, need acres. Uh, Most of all, we all need prayer. Come on, come on, nigga. Beware. I don't know where I'm going, huh? but I hope I'm on the right path. Like to hit you with a light jab. Mike Tyson, strike back. You niggas going out slight sad. Boy, I'm all about my bag. New drip, I grab. I just wanna get my life Put on, back. huh? Why I cry over spilled milk? If you still feel I'm the real deal. My bitch bad with no ill will. She'll murk a nigga like Kill Bill. Loose lips, sink ships, camera, pink drip. That is my fashion. I'm not really with the high flash. It's no hope we live my crack. Penetrated, been the greatest. New house, renovated. I got the juice. You Pussy niggas always in the day. Can't fuck me over, boy, I'm too the clever. Job. That applies on a whoever. I'm just here to pursue pleasure. Yeah. Sweet Lord, please have Let's mercy. Go. Baby Jesus, please save us. I know I used up my three favors. Had to send it like a week later. New car, speed racer, uh. cop a crib, need uh. 
Most of all, we all need prayer. Come on, come on, nigga. Beware. I don't know where I'm going, go. look, but I hope I'm on the right path. Uh, Life will hit you with a light jab. Mike Tyson, right back. Yeah. Niggas going out, slice that. Yeah. Boy, I'm all about my brand. Yeah. New trip, I grab. I just want to get my life back. Let's go, broke as fuck. Yeah! Display! We about to turn up! You ready? Let's go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I was broke as fuck, trying to pull my ass, had the lowest luck. You can ride a bike up to the store, I need a rubber truck. A Billy Coop, yeah, I'm wearing Prada, I like 52. Grab my best, had a heart attack, only okay, my cousin shot. Got me paranoid, who the fuck to not? Came my brother 25 years, that really sucked a lot. Post-traumatic stress is bumping up, okay, you're so dramatic. Fuck these other niggas, I'm the, hold on. Let me take you niggas back to a much simpler time. Picture yourself inside a vehicle, a ship in my. You'll see some childhood memories mixed with the cells of a dawn. You see the doctor smack my ass when I first fell out my mind. Imagine school bus adventure trip inside my cerebral. Uh, told niggas I'll make it swear they didn't. Flash back the brass tracks and we was playing no problems. We was cranking all the classics from the world. Champagne on a private jet fucking on a boss of no being presidential rolling fucking campaign impeach 10 deep in my days was wearing J's in a gold chain only had three so fortunate pro fortunate lost boy nigga no coordinates remember Christmas wheels get bliss three foot tree no ornament pull my dick out post warming it blow cold nigga no warming it mama couldn't afford AU so we could hoop nigga no tournament I remember days sipping lemonade ice cream truck getting plenty pay candy lady hat I don't really have a lot of answers. I'm just searching for the same shit. Same niggas that I came with. Premonitions of a reminiscent. Lamb truck, high lane switch. Ah! Hey, yo, display. Y'all just witnessed greatness. Corday, you killed that shit, fam. Appreciate that. Listen, we back on stage now. Everybody getting back into the rhythm of performing. The crowd wants it. When you got on stage, what was you feeling? True artistry, you know, we just miss being on stage. It's what we love to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, we get paid to perform, nigga. That shit's still crazy to me. So yeah. I can't wait to just come back up here and, you know, whether it be how many people in the crowd, I'm performing it like it's 30,000 people every you single time, you know? You did that. That's what's up, y'all. Corday, display. Y'all got an exclusive performance, and he rocked that shit. So y'all keep downloading. It's going down, my bro, Corday. Yes, sir, appreciate you, you bro. Salute. I am in the place to be, LPR in New York City, where the incomparable Chinese kitty is about to set this stage on fire. Sis is serving looks and hooks. This is going to be one for the books. I used to be a bartender, you know, in the nightlife. Then I had a son. I was just like, you know what? I need to change my life. You know, making quick money is 
in the, it's cool, but it's not like something I see a future for. So I was like, I need to focus on things that I love to do, something I really want to go after. And I was like, you know what, I'm a rap. And I had to kind of like really just throw myself out there, go to the studio, do this, find different people that like nobody even believed that I really wanted to rap. The first time I went to the studio, I was like, no, this is something I want to do. I think I actually really like this. And then from there on, I kept it up. I'm not like, cocky or self-centered, but I just know the work that I put in for myself. Like, I know where I've started. I know that I was a pretty face. I know that guys always liked me, but always knew that I wanted more, like, for myself and my family, for this, for that. So the grind that I have in me is from being a mom, from having a family to take care of, from wanting to, you know, have more, like, be the first one in my family really to say, like, I made it. And now, here to perform exclusively on display, ladies and gentlemen, Chinese Kitty. Yeah. Do it, 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 do